What's going on guys, it's Chow here. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Beyblade Burst Pro Series Evo Elite Champion Set. Now, I don't know much about Burst, and I know that this is Valtryuk. I don't know what this one is yet, but I bought this because I work at Walmart, of course, and I was going, I was shopping, and I noticed in the uh, Beyblade aisle, because I like to go look sometimes even though I'm not a Burst fan, uh, I noticed that this was only $20 and I've seen this stadium a lot and I've been interested in getting one But I'm pretty sure that Normally this stadium is uh, this set is $40 and I saw the clearance sticker and it said uh, 19 and I scanned it with my phone just to make sure and yeah, it was 19 So I went ahead and bought it now. I don't really I don't really buy these for the burst Beyblades. I really bought this for the stadium um, but we're gonna take a look so we have Sword Valtriac DP or D72 P slash PR13. Now I don't really know all about bursts and the parts, but you can see them here. So I assume that this is these two pieces mean are the Valtriac. This is LW04 DP or D72P and then PR13, which is I know that's the driver and the weight disc. And then our other Beyblade is, oh, it's Wizard Fafnir. So I do know what Fafnir is. So this is Wizard Fafnir, uh, LW05D70P PR14. So these two Beyblades uh, seem to be a little similar, at least. Now, Sword Valtriax attack is maxed out. It's got uh, about halfway on burst, but it has no defense. Max weight, pretty good agility, and then no stamina. But Wizard Fafnir has little attack, little burst resistance, lots of defense, a little weight, a little agility, and maxed out stamina. So these two seem to be opposite kind of Beyblades. And then of course we get the Stadium and then our two String Launchers, which I will not be using the String Launchers. I have uh, this launcher right here. I do not have one of the uh, DB launchers, but I will probably be getting one soon. So let's just pop this open. And I'm gonna try get it all on camera here so we got the stadium and then I assume everything else is in that yeah everything else is gonna be in this little rectangle uh, so let's go ahead and get the stadium set up first now this is a really nice stadium um, obviously this is brand new not my first pick I do prefer BB 10 or really just any stadium with uh, outs which out of the stadiums I have is just my BB 10 um, and then my fake BB 10 of course all the other stadiums are walled in, including this one, but it does have four pretty large and decently sized out zones. Now, I can see right here, there's a thing that needs to go in there. And then, of course, this is supposed to go over it, but I don't know if I'll actually be keeping this over it because this just kind of seems like... Like, I know this is supposed to go there so that the Beyblade parts don't burst out and fly out at you, but I feel like this is really just going get to get in the way. I'm going to keep it, but I'm not going to be putting it on. Um, so let's get into what's in the box. So we've got our little burst manual here. We've got two interesting looking grip cords. I haven't seen grip cords like these before. We've got our blue launcher, our yellow launcher. We've got this piece. We've got a driver here. A weight disc, another weight disc, another driver, a bunch of pegs. I assume these can go on the bottom. So if those are weight discs, if that's the weight discs and the drivers, then these must have the Beyblades in them. Can one, one can only assume. So let's open this one. This is a very weird way to package. So yeah, here's the uh, Sword Valtriac piece. Pretty interesting. I don't know much about Burst, so if you guys know some more about these Beyblades, let me know. Um, and then here is Wizard Longinus, or Longinus, I don't really know how to say it. Is that the, is it Wizard Longinus? Or no, this is Wizard Fafnir, excuse me. I'm pretty sure there's a L Wizard Longinus as well. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, put these Beyblades together, so I think, oh gosh. I think they go like, th oops. I think this is the right one for Valtrek. It's blue, so I'm assuming it is. They go in like this. Uh, let's... Oh, you have to put the driver in too, I think. Or, let's see. 
Okay, like that, and then get that on maybe. Okay, it's not together. Huh. Guys, I am so sorry. I'm such a noob when it comes to burst. Oh. There, oh, there we go. I got it. Okay. So there's this, um, which one is this? Is this sword? Yeah, sword Valtriac. I think I have one of these already from my friend. I do have a collection of bursts. I have 30 burst Beyblades. I never use them. I don't really do bursts. I'm thinking about selling them. Um, but I think I already have this one, so that's a cool... I think I don't have the same weight disc and driver, but I do definitely have the Sword Valtriac piece here. Now, I don't know if I have this uh, Wizard Fafnir piece. I definitely... I, I want to like Burst, but I mean, I just... Okay, guys, sorry the video cut there. I don't really know what happened. I just looked at my camera and noticed that the, it wasn't recording anymore. But all I did was I got a uh, Wizard Fafnir together and I noticed that it has this really cool free spin piece on it. Um, I don't really know much about these Beyblades, but interesting. And then I got this piece in here and I was saying like, I don't know why they couldn't just make this pocket as deep as the other pockets. If you guys know why this one has to have this piece in it, uh, let me know. But it seems kind of redundant. Now, let's see. I don't know which, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Valtteri X spins to the right. So we're, I mean, we're gonna test it out. Does this launcher even work on these? It should. I don't even know. Let's try uh, one of these. I'm, I'm, I'm not used to burst guys, I, I'm sorry. Okay, so in, and then, okay, so there goes Sword Valtriac, I'm gonna try not to burst it when I pick up, so then is Longinus left spin, is this a right, I'm pr I thought all launchers for burst were right spin but I guess not is this a left spin one let's see this is me figuring out how burst Beyblades work okay so that's those that's kind of interesting um, I don't really mess with Burst that much, like I said. It's hard for me to get into Burst. Um, I like the designs. I think the designs are really cool, but... Just overall, I have... I don't really... You know, get into Burst that much. Yeah, I wanted to use this String Launcher, but it's not like... It doesn't really work. So, we're just gonna, um... Use the ones it came with, I guess. So I, I, so I guess I'm launching Longinus, or not Longinus, I don't know why I keep saying Longinus. I'm gonna launch um, Fafnir first, and then I'll launch Valtriac, and then we'll also do some metal fight battles in this stadium. So yeah, that looked like a tie to me, I'm not gonna lie. And it doesn't look like either either of them really took burst damage. Um, that's kind of funny. So I guess we'll just do one more with these two Beyblades. This isn't really why I bought the stadium for the burst, I'm just showing off the burst. But yeah, I really bought the stadium to use for Metal Fight Beyblades, and then uh, these are just kind of a bonus. I might resell these, the Beyblades, since I don't really do burst stuff. I will probably try reselling them or something. Uh, so it looks like Fafnir won there, so I'm gonna switch to a better angle for Metal Fight, and let's just do some Metal Fight battles. Alright guys, so first I want to test up two of my competitive combos. Um, we've got my Flame... 
230 coat sharp pretty cool with the uh clear or the white wheel and the uh white pegasus face bolt because it needs to be lighter and then we got our bakushin leon the swift special with a metal face bolt light and i also don't have actually the leon i don't have a spare leon so i'm just using the um spare bixis wheel or bixis clear ring i have but i'm gonna get one and then obviously bakushin wheel 85 track and a metal flap so i just kind of want to see what these will do in this stadium or really just what Beyblades will do in this stadium. Ooh, that was a terrible launch. But yeah, I do think this is a good size stadium. It's a little, I think the inner ring is a little bit smaller than the BB-10. Maybe a little more than a little. It's definitely, I, th I definitely think it's smaller than the BB-10. But really, this stadium is just to kind of see what um beyblades or at least metal beyblades will do because i know a few people who use this stadium for metal bays and it looked pretty interesting and i saw the markdown and i was like 20 bucks for two pretty good for two pro series beyblades and then the stadium so i was like i might as well pretty good deal So yeah, I'm just kind of seeing how Coach Sharp performs on this stadium, as well as the metal flat stall. Ooh, it was close, but the uh, Flame 230 took that one. So basically what I'm just gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be grabbing a bunch of random Beyblades. So I guess first we'll do Twisted Tempo, and uh, we can do Perseus Left. Basically just me testing out a bunch of different Beyblades. Just cause why not, you know? It's a pretty cool stadium. I definitely like the size and the idea um, that there's like knockout pockets. I don't know. I'm not really sure what about the stadium specifically makes me like it. I just like it. Looks like Perseus is actually going to be equalizing. And while that's going, I'm just going to grab two Beyblades for another match. Uh, let's do Race Striker and, uh, do Hades Kerbex next. But yeah, I, I like this stadium and Twist Tempo is gonna take it. But I do I do think the stadium is pretty interesting and unique. And um I do like to have a variety when it comes to my stadiums. So this definitely helps with that. Because it's kind of similar to a BB10, but instead of having the knockout zones you have knockout pockets you have four knockout pockets instead of three knockout zones and three walls now the ridge or the ridge here is definitely a lot taller than the bb10 ridge so it's probably going to make attack types knocking out other beyblades a little bit less effective but we're gonna see oh that's whoopsie bed launch yeah see there so that's a knockout and I kind of like that that it's not like you know when you knock out with a BB-10 it goes all it goes all over the place but with this it really doesn't um so I guess we can try you know we'll try cyber aquario and then we'll also, let's throw in Vulcan Harusius as well. We're just gonna try a bunch of different Beyblades. I guess we can do some 4D as well. Uh, we'll do, we'll throw in like Death Cats. Um, let's just try a Mega Dragonus for the fun of it. Uh, you know, Wing Pegasus, Big Bang Pegasus. Flash, Nemesis. We'll just try a bunch of Beyblades. I mean, we can make this a pretty long video. I don't. I don't really have anything to do. Christ Cygnus. 
Scythe Kronos. Just we'll try we'll try a bunch of different things. But, you know, Thang Leon, Orion. So yeah, I the stadium's cool. Ooh, is Aquari gonna stand up? No. Vulcan Horusius is gonna take that one. Now I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, I'm back. I was um noticing that I was actually gonna run out of storage to record. I had only 11, gig 11 gigabytes left, which sounds like a lot, but when you're recording at um Ultra HD 60 frames, 11 gigabytes is like 10 minutes. So I went to my app to see, like, what can I get rid of temporarily just to see? And then I noticed TikTok takes 40 gigabytes on my phone. So I'm temp I temporarily deleted TikTok. And now I got 47 minutes of record time. So let's just, like, do a bunch of Beyblades. So let's do, like, Big Bang Pegasus versus Death Quetzalcoatl. Oops. I am, I'm sucking at launches today. I'm trying out the this way, so I'm getting used to that. So yeah, this is just kind of a chill video, I guess. Now I do notice that this stadium does seem to scratch up pretty easily. Or not scratch up, but you can see scuff marks. Are those able to... Yeah, I can like kind of wipe away the scuff marks, but only a little bit. So this stadium was going to get scratched up pretty easily. Oh, Death Cat's going into a stall here with the rubber defense flat. You can kind of hear it. I'm not sure if it's coming up on the camera at all, but I can definitely hear it. Yeah, that stall definitely saved Quetzalcoatl there. Alright, let's do uh, Earth Eagle versus... Storm Pegasus. Alright, I'm gonna try a different launcher. I think my LR launcher is wearing. Or it has been wearing. So let's throw a right launcher onto here just to see how this does now i haven't used this at all so it should do pretty well when it comes to launches oh that was me not the launcher oh that seems to be a lot better now um the lr launcher that I currently use is a not an official one from TT, but I did get um, I did order an actual TT LR launcher from Swift MB, so that should be coming in here soon. I'm just putting my uh, handle rubber onto the LR or not the LR the this blue right launcher real quick. One. There we go. Got that on. Definitely uh, helps out. I recommend getting one of these rubber pieces. It makes it a lot easier to grab because it's rubber. Right, let's do uh, Flash Sagittario against Phantom Orion. Oh wow, 
Flash knocked out Orion out of the stadium completely. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sagittario is really trying to hold on right now. Ah, it was starting to straighten back up. But of course, Venom Orion is gonna take it. All right, let's try like Divine Crown and Dark Wolf. That'd be an interesting match. So yeah, this is gonna be a longer video just testing out the stadium. And uh, if you're watching this far, I appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think of this kind of content where I just kind of chill out, do some battles on a video, you know, just nothing really themed or set or anything. I mean, I know this is kind of an unboxing, but this is also just kind of a relaxed battle video. So let me know if you guys kind of like, you like these, um, if it's, you know, good for... Like if you're studying and you want to have some background noise or if you're trying to go to sleep and background noise. If Let me know if this is like a good background noise kind of video. Um, I'll probably be putting lo-fi over this video just to make it chill and more relaxed. But yeah, this is really just me wanting to test out the new stadium with a bunch of different stuff and I might as well record it. Alright, let's do Wing Pegasus and Scythe Kronos. But yeah, I'm definitely up for doing more of these if you guys want to see more of these. is going to be taking that one. Let's give, um... Let's do this matchup. I know this matchup we just did, but I kind of want to see it again. Just in this stadium. And yeah, as I thought, immediately KO'd. So let's just forget about that Beyblade. Let's do Samurai Efrit versus Samurai Pegasus. Ooh. Pegasus with the knockout. Kind of knocked itself out there. Ooh, I think the issue for Ifrit is that the performance tip, it has, since it's got this big disc on it, it doesn't like going up against it because the ridge is a lot taller on the stadium. So the, the disc really grinds against it when it's up on the ridge. Okay, let's do like Fang Leon and Diablo. I suck at launching. again.
So yeah, I'm excited for my uh, new launcher to come in because I know that since it's a legit TT one, it'll be a lot more powerful than the ones I got. Oh my God. Dragonis is so low, it can't even get up to and grind its performance tip against the ridge. Wow. Yeah. That's a... Uh, Omega Dragonis, everybody. Good old Omega Dragonis 85XF. Uh, very Aries and Fry Sickness. Okay, let's try, um, Rock Leon and Rock Zarafa. Be a fun match. Basically the same Beyblade, just different spin tracks. Super high recoil for both. Zarafa takes it. Let's do Ray Gill and uh, Ray Gill and Grand Cetus. Let's try that. This is definitely a good stadium that keeps the Beyblades coming together. Now it does. To me, it looks like the actual depth of the stadium is a little bit deeper than B a BB-10. And since the inner rim is also smaller than a BB-10, they do circle back to the middle quicker. I do kind of like it though. All right, let's do Dark Cancer and Screw Capricorn. just to show the difference in power so this is a uh, unbranded right right spin launcher right here let's try it with a Beyblade that will actually show a good difference so here's the Bakushin Leon or I guess this is Bakushin, Bakushin Vixis fake launch or unbranded launcher shitty launch by me uh, unbranded launcher. Not terrible. Hasbro real launcher. Big difference, honestly. That was me just launching really bad. with a uh, screw Capricorn. 
So, again, unbranded. And then Hasbro. A bit stronger. Not a lot stronger, but definitely noticeable. So, yeah. You can also try Zero G. box yeah I've got one of these as well we can try one of these need the grip cord all right oh it didn't even come off That's not good. All right, I'll figure that out in a little bit. All right, let's try out a zero G launcher. Need a rip cord. Let's grab a long rip cord. There we go. Again? What is this? I don't even know. Hmm. Maybe this isn't the right ripcord? Oh, it's definitely not the right record. Gosh, I'm dumb. Yeah, I am so dumb. You're supposed to use one of these ones. There we go. Wow. My launching is terrible. Pretty good. Could be worse, but uh, yeah. You know, we'll be getting an actual left right launcher soon which is really nice got it stuck on here I'm gonna try to get it off but I'm not really sure what to do I'll figure it out Okay, I'm gonna put the launcher box back now. Okay, there we go. All that stuff is back where it needs to go. So yeah, um, I guess I'm gonna end the video here. I don't really have anything else to do or show off. So, we're just gonna cut it here. I appreciate you if you've watched this far. Um, if you did watch this whole video, uh, I guess hop in the description and comment. Comment Twisted Tempo Doesn't Stop Spinning. If you've watched at this point, go comment Twisted Tempo Doesn't Stop Spinning so I know who's a real one. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you've watched this far, I'm sure you already have, but make sure to like and subscribe. 
and uh, join the Discord if you haven't already. It's pretty interesting in there sometimes. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.